And Nigerians stranded in Sudan may have to wait a little longer before being airlifted from transit points outside of Khartoum. This is because Airpeace is yet to get landing permit from Egypt where most citizens are expected to converge before being transported to Nigeria. And that's according to the chief executive officer of the airline, Mr. Allen Onyema, who has volunteered to take up the national assignment to bring the students back home. He was speaking exclusively to Channel's television. As I speak to you now, um, in the last five hours, our pilots have been ready, waiting. They're giving the go-ahead. The aircraft has already been positioned at the Montana Mohammed Airport. You can, you can go there and see for yourself. What is lacking is the landing permit from Egypt. Egypt is yet to give us the landing permit. Uh, the, the flight planners, the Airpeace flight, flight planners, go back to us in the morning and said uh, they declined. Uh, they, they said they would not. Uh, they, they kind of declined initially, giving landing permit say until that it has to be a, a, a diplomatic approval uh, before they could grant it. They didn't decline, but that there should be a diplomatic approval. They needed the Nigerian government. So we called on the Nigerian government to get across to them. And um, the Minister of Foreign Affairs is, is on top of his game, he's doing that. And of course, our ambassador in um, Egypt, His Excellency Abba, Abba Rimi, is, uh, Nura Abba Rimi, is doing a yoga job. He has been tireless, he has not slept in days now. He's been running around, I've just finished uh, speaking with him some few minutes ago. And uh, they are doing what they have to do. Uh, all we are waiting for now is the landing permit. The moment we get it, APIS will be airborne to Egypt. And uh, what we are doing is to foster unity in our nation, foster love. And uh, I don't like uh, some of the things that I've been seeing online, social media, in the past few days. This is meant to you know, create uh, ethnic harmony in Nigeria, not to create disharmony. So I beg Nigerians uh, to see this as a national call. Uh, I didn't ask anybody for money, and uh, nobody offered me money. We are going there to get our fellow citizens evacuated. However, if uh, the numbers become overwhelming, then of course the government should set in to help um, offset the ill. Because one man alone cannot carry it. Also, other airlines can join. It's not uh, about Anilayemo and Airpeace alone. If the numbers become very overwhelming, then of course, uh, it's no-brainer that the government has to also step in.